the Toyota Tacoma or Jeep Gladiator? Which one's easier to mod? Just need a plain junior hamburger, nothing on it, and that's all. 107, sir. First one. Though. Thank you. I eat like a five-year-old. Just wait, you'll see. Safety first. Plus, it's good advertising for the other channel, right? Thank you. Thank you. Always check your food to make sure that it's right. Pull around here and I'll show you how I eat a burger because I have mental problems apparently. At least that's what everybody tells me. But we'll pull off here. I won't eat while I'm driving, not today. Not to say that I haven't or don't because I have and I do. Whoop. Okay, there we go. Let's get this thing off. Ah. All right, so what I've got here is a plain Wendy's Jr. hamburger, right? Cost on this thing, $1.07. And then I have a Mountain Dew from home. So we've got burgers and dew. That's for lunch today. Typically, I don't eat lunch, but I eat strangely. I don't eat everything together because I'm weird. So what I do is I take the bottom bun off and eat that sucker first. So we're going to do that. Mm. And I love bread, man. Bread and I, we're best friends. Top bun now. That's the way I roll. That burger is kind of hot on my leg, I'm just saying. Mm. Got to have a little bit of the green nectar. Now, we do eat the patty with our fingers like a five-year-old. I said, I eat like a five-year-old. Here we go. Mm. nothing like a plain burger man you can really enjoy the nuances and flavor of a burger if you eat it plain you'll put all that stuff all over it you know dilute its goodness and tastefulness if you have kids and they eat like i do you can you can see that it may never go away so if you think that they're going to outgrow this when they get older May not happen. Mm. Lovely. Kudos to Wendy's today. Did a fantastic job. Burger was good. One more drink. We're going to get rolling. All fed, full of energy, and ready to roll. So, the Toyota Tacoma or the Jeep Gladiator? Which one is easier to mod? I'm obviously sitting in the Jeep Gladiator right now. Uh, and that's because I just finished a mod that honestly was a bear on this truck. And it was simply adding a tow hook um, to the passenger side on the rear. Now it was a bear because I had it to replace the uh, little bezel where the tow hook sticks through. But anyway, that's not what this video is about. You know, I've done numerous mods, uh, particularly on the Tacoma and a good handful on the Gladiator. So I have a decent feel, I think, as to uh, how difficult they are. And I gotta say, the Toyota Tacoma is much easier. Um, I think it's probably due to the way that uh, Fiat Chrysler, I guess, or Jeep, puts the Jeep together. It seems like there are a lot more things to remove or are more difficult to remove to do even the simplest mods, you know, for instance, I did this uh, tow hook thing today and it took me about three hours to do. Now it wasn't difficult, but it was tedious. There were a lot of things to take off. A lot of those push pin things and um, bolts and all kinds of stuff, you know, I had to remove and it was kind of a drag. Um, I will say I actually managed to do it without damaging anything. And when I was finished, 
I didn't have any nuts or bolts left. So that's always a good thing. You know, you've hopefully had a successful mod if there are no bolts or nuts left when you're done, particularly if you're just changing out a part with something that's very similar. So on the Tacoma, you know, I've done tons of things. I'll use the, uh, I guess the air cleaner, the cold air intake, uh, as an example for what I'm talking about. A little Jeep just went by, had a little Jeep wave, gotta love that. Now, why don't Tacoma guys do that? You know, I go by, I don't know how many Tacomas, and only if somebody recognizes me do I get a wave. Otherwise, it's just a cold stare, like they're looking into space. I, I don't know, maybe they're peering into my soul. I don't know. But anyway, the cold air intakes, you know, I did the, I've done a couple actually on the Toyota Tacoma. And very simple, very straightforward. Everything is accessible. It's right there where it should be, where you want it to be. And uh, no problems. On the Jeep, uh, everything is more confiding, I guess. It's a tighter fit in there. Um, there aren't, it didn't seem to me like there were as many options as there are with the Tacoma. I mean, if you search cold air intake for Tacoma, uh, you get a myriad of different options, different models you can choose from, which is cool. I like that. I like to have uh, the flexibility of being able to choose what I want, you know, having several options. Um, that way I can always find something I like and it's simple to do. Uh, the difficulty of doing the mods. I mean, it just seems more involved, you know? It's almost like Toyota built the Tacoma with the modder in mind. You know, people like me, I suppose. Which is kind of odd because, you know, Jeep's been around for, I don't know, three, 400 years, something like that. I think the cavemen were driving them. Um, but they still aren't as straightforward, as intuitive. Maybe that's the right word. You know, the Tacoma, at least, in my experience, it's more intuitive when you're doing mods and things. You can almost, if you have a rudimentary, you know, knowledge of how things go together, um, you can almost do things without even having have, without even having to have. It's difficult to say instructions, which is a good thing because a lot of mods today, or a lot of parts rather, uh, come with little or no instructions, and I find a lot of the times. Uh, the instructions are vague or they leave things out. There's nothing worse when you get to a complicated part. For some reason, the author of the instructions decided that that was easy and you really didn't need to know that. But that's typically the spot that I needed to know that, you know. But Tacoma just seems so much easier to do mods and things on and from that perspective. It's, it's almost like you just know what you're doing even if you've never done it before. And, uh, and I really like that. The volume of uh, videos and things out there with the Tacoma and mods and stuff seems to be much greater as well. You know, I'll go back to my tow hook thing that I did with the uh, Gladiator today. Um, I went out and I searched because I wanted to see just what I was getting myself into, right? I've had two or three comments on the channel when I mentioned what I was going to do, uh, telling me that it was a bear and that I'll probably just end up giving up and cutting it. Um, anyway, and I, first of all, I never give up. Um, unless it's a complete flop, I never give up. But uh, there just weren't any videos out there to see. I, I was really just trying to find out how the bumper was put together uh, so that I'd know how far down I had to take it uh, to be able to do what I needed to do to get that piece out. I couldn't find anything on it. So that's kind of a drag. Although I will say, after doing that mod myself, I can kind of see why, because, you know, while you're fumbling around trying to figure out what you're doing and continuing to take things apart, uh, it would be kind of a boring video, I think, you know, because there's a lot of time just sitting there, at least in my case, uh, looking at the way things are before I start removing stuff that I don't have to remove. So, and that's the last point that I'll mention too, I guess, is in doing mods to the Tacoma, um, there's just less to do, I think. You know, bolt-ons really are almost truly bolt-ons, almost like you just remove the part that was there and go ahead and slap the new one on and it's that quick. You don't have to do a lot of prep work, um, like with this tow hook thing, to do what you wanna do. Things just go together easily and, I found that, you know, I was kind of 
looking around underneath the gladiator with the thought that I might change out the exhaust someday or something like that, you know. So I was looking around under there and man, it, it looks more involved, way more involved than what the Toyota Tacoma was. You know, really just two bolts and uh, pulling the hooks out of the hangers and that's pretty much all you have to do. And if it wasn't for the, the bulkiness, the cumbersome nature, I guess, of exhaust, you can do it yourself, which I did do with the help of some bungee cords. So anyway, I just kind of want to get on here, talk about that a little bit. You know, after spending way too much time doing this Gladiator mod today, I just got to thinking, you know, I don't have those kind of issues with the Tacoma. They're relatively quick. I mean, I think the longest I ever spent probably doing any mod was probably maybe three hours. And that's only because I had to run wiring um, for one, I think it was the front facing camera on, uh, on my uh, 2018 Tacoma. And that was really the only reason. Otherwise, pretty darn seamless. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know what you think. If you experience this, particularly if you've owned both uh, the Tacoma and the Gladiator, do you find that it's just simpler to do mods on the Toyota Tacoma? Or maybe even compared to other brands? I'd be curious to know. Also, real quick, if you're interested, check out my other channel. It is all about the 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there.